This is a soil probe. This is used by archaeologists and diggers alike. I'm going to teach you guys how to use one of these today. And we're going to actually take it out in the field and look for some Civil War huts. Now, these can be very dangerous and you need to know how to use them. And you have to, when you buy one, buy one that's made a certain way. And I'm going to show you all about that when we get out into the field. But first, I wanted to give a special thanks to one of my fans, Kenny from Worcester. I think it's pronounced Worcester, um, Ohio. I'm gonna come up a little closer to the camera so you can see my brand new digging bag just came in last night. So Kenny actually uh, sent me an email and said he wanted to make me a bag. I don't know if he makes this for, uh, or will make these for other people, but he asked me for the specifications that I would like. And this is what I gave him and he gave me a perfect digging bag. Nice and deep. It's good to have a deep bag because when you put stuff in there, if you don't, when you bend over, they can roll out. You've seen me lose stuff in shallower, when I'm out digging in the shallower bags, and that's how that happens. So nice deep bag. I got a pocket for my phone, pocket for my camera, and a pocket for my little old school skull can that I like to put buttons in. Uh, but so Kenny, thank you so much for making this for me. This is his maiden voyage, and I hope we get it full of belt buckles and gold coins. Yes. Right? Right. Oh, I forgot. I brought you something I made last night. What'd you get? It Ooh. is a Civil War pen. Uh, the pen was inspired by the era of when correspondent was of art form and craftsmanship. So that's the information on what they made the castings from. For the pen. So you you make these yourself? Yes. Did you do the wood turning? I do. Oh, dude, that's awesome! Wow. And I'm gonna bring this up and show it to you guys. The wood is made of Jatoba wood. What's Jatoba? It is a wood Jatoba. from the Caribbean's. Um, it's just the that's type of so wood it awesome. is. And I, I, I what I usually do is I'll find a pen kit yeah. and I'll go through my stack of wood and find a nice piece of wood that I think would really fit with that. So and how does it work? You twist the top here. Ah, you twist the mini ball. Cool. Go. I'm going to let it hang right there. I'll be right with you. Wanted to give you a close-up of this. This is really cool. Look at that. It's got, uh, looks like a, uh, a 44 caliber pistol bullet there and a mini ball on one end and a rifle. Isn't that neat? Just twist the thing to make it work and Rob does all the woodworking and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a link to his uh, Facebook page he does this as a hobby but he also sells this stuff too he makes beautiful pens and does beautiful woodwork that's so cool <laughs> I figured since you've been digging them you might as well write with right with it right with a, yes perfect thank you so much yeah, you're thanks Rob it's a mini ball <laughs> Do you see it? Do ya? I see it. <laughs> Let's get to digging. Seriously, watch this part of the video. It's important and it's fun. And it's fun. <laughs> this is a basic soil probe. Now, I bought this a long time ago, probably from one of my friends who make them. They are almost always made out of spring steel. It has to be a very strong steel that is springing. And I think they make these out of a part of a car, like some latch maybe for the trunk because uh, you know the homemade ones are generally the better ones. I bought commercial ones that were junk. They would just bend and stay bent. A couple things you need on these. You need to make sure you have a nice sturdy handle that's well connected here. I'm going to tell you why in a second. Another very important part is this tip right here. I've seen a lot of these uh, probes where there's it just comes up to a point like a hunting arrow. They're no good. Because what happens is when you push that into the ground, you can't pull it back up. And a lot of people make them like that, you might as well just throw it away. If you have it where it's just a little bit bigger here, this is actually kind of almost too big. Uh, it goes in and then you can pull it back out because it's a bigger void. It's much, you don't have the friction on the shaft right here, so you can pull it right out of the ground. So always make sure you have this tip. This tip also serves another purpose. When you push it all the way in to the depth that you want, that you, where you think there might be something or not, when you pull it back up, it brings up a little soil sample right here. And I'm going to show you all this. And in that little tiny soil sample, you'll be looking for uh, little pieces of glass or pottery or ash or coal or whatever. And we're going to see a lot of that in this field because this field has a lot of features in it. So remember, make sure it has this tip on it and has a sturdy handle. And this is why it needs a sturdy handle. 
the handle is very important because if when you're pushing on this thing and it takes a lot of force sometimes if the handle breaks and you're doing this like pushing this is how a lot of people use them two hands pushing like this with your weight which would make this the easiest way to do it but if this handle breaks you have a piece of sharp spring steel that's going to go up through your gut or through your chest and that can kill you that, that'll go right through you just like an arrow will so I don't recommend pushing like this I always recommend standing to the side and pushing so that if this does break it at least goes up here it might only catch your arm might just catch your side it might miss you completely so when you're pushing you're going to be using your weight like this and pushing down you see how it's kind of springy it's because I'm going through rocks and hard stuff in the ground but if that handle snapped right now it'll probably just go up through here and miss me if I was doing this I'd have a gut full of steel and that ain't gonna make for a good day very important buy a good one make sure it has a strong handle and stand to the side okay enough for the sad stuff let's go ahead and I'll show you how to find features I got a couple places marked here that I, I looked around already a little bit this morning I've not dug anything but I'll show you how to use one of these probes so I'm gonna start right here. This part of the field actually does not have a lot of weird things underground because I already tested it. And um, what I'm looking for is not so much just going in easy or going in hard, but I'm looking for differences. I'm looking for a spot in the field that's different than the rest of the field. So what I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure this is nice and clean right here at the tip so that I can get a soil sample on the way back up. You can't really push it straight down. It's very hard. This is actually hard work. I always start on an angle like that. Again, standing a little bit to the side. And just push it down as best you can. I'm going down, down, down. If it breaks, it might go through my leg, but it's not going to go through my chest or my gut. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to go down. It's, it's pretty smooth going all the way down. If I was in a trash pit from like the Civil War or Privy, it'd be very soft. It'd be just be soft. It's almost like fluff going down. This was very consistent, smooth. You saw it just kind of push down. I hit a rock at the end, but I think it's probably just a rock. I'm pull it up, we'll check the soil. So what we're gonna do is we'll just peel this off the tip and we'll look at it. We're gonna be looking for uh, pieces of pottery, uh, or especially ashes or coal or anything like that. You see a little bit of darkness, but that's just from the surface. That's just plain clay. That's why it was so easy to push in. Now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do a couple of these. We're gonna go to an area just to the side where I think there is a floor. About 10, 12 inches down, yeah, maybe a little deeper. Uh, but I keep hitting something hard, rocks in an area. So it could be a floor to a house. It could be a floor to a Civil War hut. We don't know, but we're gonna find out because we're gonna dig it up on this video. It's right up here, let's go look at that. For the most part, this field is just like that first hole we tried, just kind of soft going down, hit a rock or two. This area right here, when I was probing, it, I was hitting, it would go down a little ways and stop. I moved a little bit to the side, go down a ways and stop. So it could just be a big rock break, natural rock break down about a foot, or it might be the floor to a hut or a house or something. But I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get it started. And I'm gonna push it down, standing a little bit to the side. You can hear it crunching. I think that's going through brick, these little pieces of brick. And I hit something hard right there. And that's down about a foot. There, that could be a rock, one rock. It could be a brick, we don't know. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at this, see if there's anything weird on there, but there isn't. That's very shallow and you would think the plow would have ripped it out. So I'm a little bit suspicious as to what this might be. I'll just move over to the side, see if we get the same type of thing. Push it down, some crunching. I see that keeps going. That's below. I hit something hard there. I'll try to break through, pull up a piece of it, and see if it's a brick or rock. It's something hard there. Hopefully, we'll have a piece on the end. I'm just going to look at it real quick. Without you, I'm just seeing clay. Something hard here, it went down easily there. Let's move over to this side a little bit more. Let's try right here. Same thing, we're gonna just push it down, standing slightly to the side. Something hard, right there. Kind of crunching through it. I suspect that might be a brick and what we're gonna do is dig it up. I think it was the same over here. 
crunch, crunch, crunch. Something hard. Now this is my second spot I want to show you, which is a lot like the other one. I actually marked it with a little piece of metal that I found out here. This is off a hay rake, and I'm going to carry this out of here so it doesn't go up in the farmer's equipment. But same situation here, going down a little way, ways, hitting either something solid or a lot of crunchy things much deeper. First thing I'm going to do, clean that off, get it started, push it down. You can just, I don't know if you can hear that, but we'll get the camera closer in a minute. And I hit the solid right there. I pull it up. I'm going to look at that for brick. Not really seeing any. So I'm going to just move back about a few feet. Try here. Same thing. I'm just going to push it down. I'm listening and feeling at the same time because you can hear the crunches and you can feel the crunches being transmitted in that spring steel. So I, I know that I'm going through some rocks. Still feeling them down there. Something hard right there. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the soil. I'm not seeing anything on it. We'll dig a pit here as well. Good just to be natural, but it's different than the rest of the field because the rest of the field it goes way down. Some of the places very easily. Right here, there's something underground that uh, numerous people have dug up and reburied. Uh, I actually dug it up one time too. It's a big rail of some kind. I just wanted to show you a little bit of, we're gonna probe right here. I wanted to show you a little bit about this. There's all kinds of brick that was dug up here. So this might be an area where there's trash was dumped or there was a hut or a house or something. But I just want you to listen to the probe. We're gonna dig here too. So I'm really curious about that rail. I wanna dig a bigger hole before I just dug a little one. We're just putting the probe in again. First thing you wanna do is clean that off. Make sure there's nothing on there. And then we just get it started, push it in. You hear that crunching noise? That's crunching through stuff. Now it could be rocks, it could be broken brick, it could be bottles, we don't know yet. Bottles actually feel different, but and it gets really hard right there. Most of this feel when you push, it's not very hard. So something happened here, I think. See, it got soft again. It's, it's really soft there, but that's the way a lot of this field is. It's quite soft, the soil is soft, just clay. All that crunching and stuff, and especially that hard layer that was down about 18 inches. I think something was happening there because I think that it got compacted at one time. So maybe this was the floor or something too with, uh, you know, it wasn't lined with brick, but it was just a lot of people walking on it or heavy machinery sitting on it or something. But down about 18 inches is a hard layer. We need to find out what that is. Let's go ahead and dig some holes. I'm going to use a big shovel for this because I want to move a lot of dirt fast. Uh, but we're just going to dig down to where I think this rail is and uh, down to we hit that harder packed dirt and we'll just check it out and I'll show it to you as soon as I get the hole dug um, but let's go ahead and let me dig it in private so I went ahead and dug the hole down to the hard layer and you can see this is all nice dark dirt going down then it hits this is the hard layer that I was hitting with the probe right here I dug down a little bit more and it looks pretty uh, the same as the uh, I mean I don't see any like pieces of pottery or anything in there um, so I'm probably not going to go any deeper than that right here. You see there's a layer of bricks though. Look at that. That's a brick and that's another brick and I dug several of them out already. So this was, there was something here. This thing here, that's a piece of railroad, I, railroad iron, I do believe. Uh, I don't know if it's, you know, Civil War era or later, but it could very well be Civil War era. We're finding some square nails in here. Uh, we're going to run the metal detectors through. I might dig a little bit more this way. Uh, we had a signal here. I want to go ahead and dig with you. Although this isn't really a digging uh, video. It's probably, well, we don't know what it is. You know, the chances are it's just a nail, but we'll go ahead and dig it. And like I said, we're going to dig it out a little bit more. I see some rust right here, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, there's a nail right there. So let's look at it. Is it round or square? That's a little roundy square nail. <laughs> I'm not even sure. But we're going to dig this hole out a little bit bigger. Then we're going to cover it up and go to those other two places. Uh, I'm really interested about this though. So uh, give me a minute. I'm going to backfill this. We'll probably come back and dig this out another day, but that's another day. This is the second area that I wanted to hit real quick. This is the area that had something, a hard layer down about a foot or so. I'll just do a quick probe just to make sure we're standing in the right spot. Yeah, hard there, like brick hard or rocks. Same there. 
So what we'll do, I'm gonna dig another little hole out. I mean, that's only, you know, it's only about 14 inches deep. So we'll hit, dig it out real quick and we'll show you what it is. We'll do the third one and then we're done. So I have the hole dug and you can see it's nice dark dirt down to here and right at this level, it changes. So this has all been plowed. It's nice and rich with organic matter. The stuff I was hitting, which I thought might be brick, are these rocks. I think that's just a natural layer right there. I dug down a little ways and it just looks like clay and sandstone rocks. So it might be part of a natural ledge. We'll, we'll make the hole just a little bit bigger. If anything comes out, I'll show it to you, but we're gonna quickly move on to that last hole. I wanna get it dug so we can go metal detecting because we're spending a lot of time out here. If you like this kind of stuff, though, we can do some more of it, but just not today. This is gonna be our last hole. Uh, this is where it's probing down, lots of crunchies, kind of hit something hard. Because of that last one we just dug, the second hole, I'm suspecting it might be natural. First one is definitely full of bricks, so we have to dig that one out later. But this one is uh, nice crunchies. It gets, kind of gets hard, just like the other one though, so it might be a natural layer. Not really seeing anything in here. We're gonna go ahead and dig the hole. We'll take a quick peek at it in just a minute. Since this is just a training video, I'm not going to dig it any deeper. But you can see there's a nice dark layer here. It's a little bit lighter, but guess what? These are bricks down here. That's all brick. So we know there's something here well below the plow line, and we need to keep digging and uh, f try to figure out if it's old or new. Now, I know those are old bricks, so that could very well be Civil War. We're not going to do it today, though, because we want to uh, do some land hunting. But I promise you, we're going to come back here. We're going to dig these out one day just not today. Um, so I hope you uh, kind of got at least an introduction on how to use a soil probe and know what to look for if you go to buy one and make sure it's good spring steel because those cheap ones that you can buy in catalogs will bend on you the first time you use them and they're worthless after that. And just be careful with them. We're gonna go dig in. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like and uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, maybe subscribe. <laughs> We'll do more like them if you want me to. Just let me know. Don't forget to check out Rob's Facebook page, Meredith Woodworking. If you like the pens that he makes, he makes other stuff too. So, shut up, you! One more. <laughs> yeah, I should do it. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget to check out Rob's Facebook page. We'll see you on the next one. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in.